Hi everyone, I thought I would pull us a love message. So let's see what comes up. I was just seeing the third eye energy stick out there. So some of you may be really thinking about a person right now. Wow, look what's showing up. Possibly a masculine energy. Um, someone who holds the key to your heart is what I'm getting here. Someone who may have even changed your life. I'm just going to pull a couple cards here. Um, and I feel like, yes, this is the person that you're thinking of. Now, I'm already getting a few messages here. I feel like this person came into your world and caused tre a tremendous growth spurt uh, for you. This person is someone who is very passionate but does not. Uh, they may present a lot of loving energy outwards to people, but I feel like truly this person um, may have a bit of a shut off heart when it comes to not a huge group of people you know what I mean like when it's one specific person maybe you yourself um, this person may have been a bit scared and iced you out possibly or just maybe a bit cold at times so anyhow I feel that whatever happened between the two of you caused tremendous growth it could be because you literally had to walk away from this situation you may have had to you know you, you had a lot of growth and you're like well I'm not growing here anymore I need to open the gate and go through the gate on my own for some of you dealing with these extremely strong connections you know what I'm talking about um, it may have even been like I'm not going to wait for portals like I'm just going to get what I want and go for my happiness now so I feel like um, part of the growth there's like something here that you, you've grown, okay? Because you left your old ways of comfort in a situation that wasn't fulfilling, even though it was beautiful. And now you're in this position of appreciation for all that you have. And there's definitely this level of patience here because you know deep within you, some of you are very psychic or very in tune. Uh, that the storm will pass is what I get here with these cards coming out. Let me just kind of fan them over here. This storm will pass. Now, what this storm had to do with, by the looks of the cards coming out, um, storm warning, hostility, and door to romance. But what I'm getting here is you were absolutely probably right. Like, this person was hostile not allowing and not wanting anyone um, to, you know, get to that heart of theirs. So they kept it in a cage. Like there's something here where there's a lot of love, right? There's love coming out all over, happiness. But look at the seat is empty. When it really comes down to things, no one, no one's home here. Like you ain't getting in. The hostility energy right so this person has a lot that they were dealing with or had to um, clear and this is why patience was definitely needed here so let's see what else we have I feel like someone may have done some self work or uh, maybe someone's made a new plan for this year and the new plan could actually be um, Making new choices, choosing unexpected paths, getting out in the community, becoming more joyful, starting to journal, starting to save, starting to save or even receive, starting to take up new hobbies, starting to unlock new doors here, have new experiences. Um, and what came along with that is also a need to kind of walk away from you know, what you had been hanging on to and not in a bad way. It actually leads or led you to this huge growth. And there's a spiritual growth here. And I feel it's because you've gotten out of the heartbreak of the situation here and come to a realization of union within oneself, um, securing and returning to yourself. There's something here about returning and taking care of yourself. This is a new journey that is actually going to be bringing 
the thoughts of this person on you. So you walking away, walking out of that gate, um, it's like almost instantly the person's like, whoa, I feel it. Like what's what's different here? What What is different? And then they may be like, oh, okay, I'm going to focus on my money or I'm going to focus on something here. Um, you know, and they get that money because this person is an action taker. They make money, but then guess what it did? Well, they got their money and now they're like, well, wait a second. Whatever happened to that, the thinking man? And look at what this person's thinking about. So it looks like there's something here that really will drive this person um, to wanting to come back to you. I'm like literally getting that. So I just want to move on to a new deck here. That's a really special message here. Uh, let's actually pull from this deck to start with. And just see, you know, what's going on. What's the message from this deck for us? I wanted to see where the energy's at. And I'm really um, amazed. So I feel like acceptance is exactly what was needed here for your part of it at least um, service and perseverance so i do feel like there was definitely an energy of acceptance because acceptance leads to happiness it's like okay let's accept this and let's start focusing on things that make me happy um, and you know what makes you happy by the looks of it is serving others and giving to others and I mean there's you know I just watched a show on someone from Houston but he said life is giving life is what you give when you um, end at the end of the day you know when you go up to your next level or wherever you're gonna go after your time is done here is it gonna matter what you made no it's gonna matter how you help people what you did for others okay um, and the perseverance is talking about, I know that I can do whatever I want to do. I actually, what I set my mind to actually, I want to clarify that because I do feel like there's a strong message there um, that a lot of people are like, and this is kind of feeding into what I'm saying, like you sometimes think you want help from um, a certain person or a certain way. Um, and it can be for anything, but I feel what the message is here is um, you just you just need to look around you. Like there is help, there is offers all around you. Uh, you just have to kind of look at it through childish eyes and wonderment, and also not put any rules and go for it. Action is always required. Go for exactly what you want and that may be part of the journey message here um, or that may be exactly what you're doing you may be realizing that sometimes what you want doesn't come in the way you want it and it leads you to where you want to be led to though you know what I mean look at we have high priestess and the nine of pentacles and I think that that's a belief that you're truly hanging on to here as well that you know what's meant to come in will come in um, and sometimes you know you get things not in the way you want it like or or like at, just for that time I don't know there's something here with that there's something here you're gonna get happiness no matter what but maybe at this time it's not what you expected happiness to be interesting right so let's get one more message here um, seven of swords I can't just end with the seven of swords but someone is definitely letting go of of confusion and conflict and ready to move forward in a new direction here definitely with these two cards and let's get one more love and when I say in a new direction I just mean like with a new goal is what I'm really getting okay so when the flirt energy comes up, it's about having fun, enjoying life, and in, then entrusting yourself to the uni universe and the higher knowledge and the higher power and that you can just relax and everything is going to work out perfectly for you, okay? Yeah, you're really going to come into your abundance um, in every way. It doesn't just give you just a little. When it comes in, it pours in, okay? So there's a little message for you. I hope that you enjoy it. I don't need to do an extended on this or anything. It's just to see what's going on and to see if maybe this message is for you and 
if maybe it helps you in one way or another, please do leave any sort of message at the bottom um, in the comment section. For one, it gives me something to do. For two, it really does help YouTube push my channel. And for three, um, I just like to read what you have to say, you know, and if it related to you. So, bye for now.